So hello everyone and welcome back to the Intermediate Contributor Workshop. So we're in our afternoon session right now and we're going to st start off with a, a local build and test of we're going to build the kube control binary and then use it against a locally deployed cluster. So if you might, if you didn't see the slide earlier, that's A-OK. -okay. Um, so before we go ahead and dive into our next activity, uh, just make sure you have these prerequisites on your machine. So uh, that's Go 1.13.4. Later, you have the Kubernetes Kubernetes repo, or KK. Um, and you have kind installed. Now the commands below are instructions on how to install kind and then add your go, go path bin to your path so you can use kind. So uh, is anyone having issues with installing these prerequisites at the moment? Um, yeah. Or I guess we can move ahead. So if you do have, if you, you if you do run into any trouble installing or running anything, um, just raise your hand and someone will come around and help you. So first of all, we're going to modify kubectl. So what we're going to do is we're going to open the file cmd command kubectl, kubectl.go with a text editor. So, and then after that, we're going to add FMT to the imports format. And then after line 38, we're going to add our own little message. I put alpacas are fluffy because I really like alpacas. <laughs> so, yep, yeah, I'm just gonna, oop, my display went off. So yeah, take this moment of AV difficulties to get to know one another and have some yarns. What was that? So does, does the Kubernetes repo need to be in the go path or can it be anywhere? Uh, what, I believe it can be anywhere. For when I, when I tested this, I tested it outside the go path. I should do it. Oh, that's one of my displays. So I'm going to just um, mirror displays. There we go. My wallpaper's gone. Oh. Yep, I just have to fix my Chrome, Firefox, Escape then full screen. Bear with me as so I just fix. So anyway, back to what we're actually doing. Uh, thank you very much for fixing the video problems. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to modify kubectl. So we're going to open the file command kubectl, kubectl.go. With any text editor you want, you could use Emacs, Vim, there's no preferences. <laughs> and we're going to add format to the imports. Then after line 38, where you should see that line, we're going to add a print statement in. So say whatever message you want. So, and then we're, after that, we're going to build it. So I'm going to just go and do that on my screen over here. 
so you can see what I'm talking about. So my terminal disappeared, didn't it? Ah, it's okay. And now I'm just gonna, there we go. Can everyone see that? Oh, the, the text is a bit black, like hard to read up there, but it's my Kubernetes repo. And we're gonna go into CMD and we're going to go into kube control and we're gonna add kube and we're gonna edit the kube control dot go. So over here, we're going to change. So I'm just reading this. So over here, we're gonna add our dot print line. Alpacas are fluffy. And there you go. So what I've done is I've just added a, a print statement in there. So every time we run kubectl, um, you're gonna see the message that you've put in there. For me, I'll see alpacas are fluffy. Um, and we've just made sure to import the package that lets us print. So next up, we're going to build this. So, so building the modified kube cuddle. So we have this make command, make what command kube cuddle. So the what instruction in the make file, uh, just when you run make what, what says what directory to build, assuming that there is a main package in that path. So let's just run this command here. Oh, oh. This is from the root of the directory, right? Um, this, is from, this is from the root of the Kubernetes, Kubernetes directory, the KK directory. Thank you. Um, uh, so now over here, we go make what equals command kube and then hang on so as you see there was that moment of silence where I didn't know whether or not it was going to build but I knew it was going to build anyway <laughs> and It'll build the it'll build the kube cuddle binaries and it'll build it for my machine. So Darwin AMD sixty four, I believe that's Mac. Yeah. So has so is everyone on the same page or is there folks out there uh, stuck with anything? If you're stuck, please raise your hand and someone will come help you. So now we've made the kube cuddle binary. So next we're going to deploy a cluster locally using Kubernetes and Docker. So these commands are all in the slides. So if you open up the slides, you can copy paste what's in the slides. Um, for me, I'll just um, go kind create cluster. So when I run this, I will create a new cluster. Oh, I forgot to do something, sorry. Uh, let's try that again. 
So I'm going to make a cluster locally um, after I delete my cluster. Uh, ah. There we go. We're back on track. Uh, a couple bumps on the road there, but so this command, I've just made a cluster on my local machine where, which is running Kubernetes and Docker or kind. And so once this cluster's up and running, we're gonna use our modified binary to against, against this cluster and see our little custom message that we added in. So we've now deployed a cluster using kind and we're now gonna use we're now gonna use our modified kube cuddle binary against this cluster. So if we go so what you built before to run what you built before, uh, you can go dot slash output binary kube cuddle and then you can type in a kube kube cuddle command. So I have alpacas are fluffy here. <laughs> so, so what we just did is we ran that binary that we modified, uh, that we built, and we saw our own custom message in kubectl. And so hopefully the aim of this was just to get you more familiar with building stuff inside the Kubernetes repo and making your own local Kubernetes environment to test these changes. Um, yeah. So next up, um, wait, so is everyone all good? Um, so the, the command over here, the using the go harbor, um, the, the creating the cluster, I believe we have a, like, a local image repo? Had, was, did, hmm, um, the, yeah, the registry's complaining. Yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> oh, um, Gwen has gone and and is going to get some more information about what's happening with that registry. So in the meantime, have a chat, get to know everyone around you, and yeah. Yeah, I broke the image registry. I broke Harbor. Uh, the Harbor pull, the pulling the image is now doing the timeout thing. Yeah, so the, over that table over there is having issues pulling the image. So, yeah. But how do you, the Harbor box? 
Starbucks is right here. Do you even know how to get into it? Yeah? Okay, so just try kind create cluster without the, the, the image and see, see how that goes. It'll be slower, but yeah. So just repeating that once more time for everyone. Um, if you're in a, on a remote machine, that uh, that image will not work for you. But if you're running on the conference Wi-Fi, the image should work. It's yeah. The the this this uh this like a little little box under here, that's underneath. Okay. Oh, Gwen, need some help over here. So is, there, is there anyone having luck at the moment with uh... Okay, um, so raise your hand if you've managed to mm -hmm. you can you can use you can use that cluster if you want. Uh, we're just modifying the coop 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 cuddle coop, yeah, yeah. So you can you can you, yeah. So has anyone uh, so has anyone made any built the binary? Anyone had any success? Yeah. Hey. Yep. 
Yep. So uh, just just repeating that again. You don't need to you don't need to run. If you already have a cluster deployed locally, you you should be able to use the kube cuddle binary that you just made without having to deploy a cluster of kind. Mm. Mm. So what is the difference between kind and minikube? Oh, so minikube uses VirtualBox or a full-on hypervisor, and uh, kind just uses Docker. But is it a, it is a full-on It's a full-on cluster, but it's a cluster in Docker as opposed to a full-on VirtualBox, yeah. So, So how does that compare to kfreeze? Well, kfreeze is just a binary. So, yeah. so sh shall we have this microphone for questions? Oh, the make what? So, uh, let's make what? Yep. Yeah, I would double check with her. Okay. Yeah, just go check in with her. Five minutes.
15 moments? Okay. Um, so.
Hello everyone. So we're wrapping up things for the next session. So if you uh, manage to like complete the exercise, what you should see when you run the kubectl command is your message uh, right before the command. So yeah. Next up we have Gwen. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Who made a cool message? Who made a cool message? Your round of applause. Whatever message you want, it's a crafty one. 